so nice to the America. Anyway, uh, so, so we start the stream tonight. Um, so, uh, here's an American snack special. Now, you know my infatuation with America. I love America, you know, I do, you know. Um, and uh, part of, I guess you can call it an extended GeoGuessr special because we have on stream right now a collection of American snacks. Now, if you are an American, this is going to be pretty funny because... For you guys, this is like, this is just down at the fucking gas station. Like, this is a 7-Eleven special. But for me, it's special. I can never get this stuff, ever, you know. So, I want to first of all say that Skiba, chat member, sent all this nice stuff to me. Uh, sent some to Bacon as well. But I have a collection of pretty much everything here. It is an enormous collection of snacks and candy and all that. And uh, it is very, very special for me. Um... And what do I have here? Uh, we have a huge collection. Uh, how about this? How about we? I, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, this stream will give me diabetes. Oh wait a minute. Uh, okay. First of all, I wanna spoil it. I've already tasted two things. I tasted two things already because I could not wait. And this is my official review of these things, right? Uh, first of all. Uh, bacon was at my place yesterday, and I tried for the first time my first Get ready for this Funyun! I've always wanted to try Funyuns, and guess what? I can try them now, and I can say, well, mama me, I sure do me love some Funyuns I know some people hate Funyuns, but I like them They taste a lot like, um They're exactly what I expected them to be. It's sort of like, it's not quite like, you know, onion rings it's quick and easy uh, onion rings. I've had something similar to this before. Um, and there's a lot of like Swedish off-brandness that we have that is similar to what I have here. But these are the real things, you know. But uh, I like Funyuns a lot, but they hurt the roof of my mouth. And um, I uh, I ended up having a lot of these. Uh, I really, really enjoyed them. I thought Funyuns gonna, was going to taste very... Very over blasting with onion flavor, but uh, no, this is pretty all right. I, I, I enjoyed Funyuns, and I can only imagine what off brand Funyuns taste like in America. I bet they're, there's a lot of off brand, uh, like Funyuns, like uh, Pleasant Yuns or uh, Excite Yuns, <laughs> Freedom Rings, you know. Anyway, so that was one thing I had. Now, I also had one more thing. That I want to show uh, again. These are the only things I've tried. I have not tried anything else. I also tried these boys, Takis, Takis Fuego. Okay, first of all, these guys. I really like these guys, but they are they are not spicy. They're over blasting with flavor. It feels like someone takes a giant like flavor piss in my mouth whenever I take one of these in my mouth. Uh, it's not It's not the fact that they're kind of long. I take one in my mouth. And there's a lot of flavor that goes in your mouth. But they're really good. They remind me a lot of like a very cilantro lemon. No, not lemon, lime. They're good. They're good. And I like them. But um, I would say you need to... Uh, you definitely need a drink with this. Like, it'd be like, uh, you know, torture. If you could feed a, feed a prisoner, you know, only Takis with, without any soda. And, you know, he'd confess everything, you know. He'd give up all the military intelligence you need. Uh, 
It's like, please, please give me one, you know. But really enjoyed these ones. These were pretty damn good. And I could, these would probably go really good with like a Corona beer or something like that. And you guys are going to be like, what beer with snacks? I, I mean, listen, I have no point of reference with these things. So when I'm trying these things, I'm just going off with what I would do, you know. So I don't know. But anyway, that is the things I've tried. And there's one more thing I want to quickly give this thing to. There's one more thing I tried, and but then I have a ton of stuff here that we're gonna get to. But I, yesterday, tried a Slim Jim. Now, we have Slim Jims in Sweden, just for reference, okay? And I know, I know, I like Slim Jim, Slim Jim. Listen, Slim Jims in Sweden are called beer sausages, right? And they're quite different. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. Um, now, th this Slim Jim might be a mini version that I'm holding or whatever. But just for reference, a we call these beer sausages in Sweden. Because apparently, you guys don't have beers with your Slim Jims. I, I mean, I, we're, we're, we're different cultures, I guess. But uh, just so you know, this is how big a Slim Jim is in Sweden. Um, trying to get a good image here of, of uh, what would be a good comparison. So you would... No. Um, yeah, here we go. This is, this is our uh, our, our uh, beer sausages, right? And that's a pretty big glass of, of beer. And, uh, you know, but... Uh, yeah, ours are, are significantly bigger. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I tried a Slim Jim yesterday. They're very comparable. But, as you can see here, uh, our, ours are, are big boy sized, you know? <laughs> big boy. Um, but back to Slim Jims, I would say, I'm going to take one right now. And I have a really small one here, but I'm going to snap into one right now. They're very spicy. I did not expect this, but it's pretty damn good. They're pretty damn good. Now, the question is, is Slim Jims made out of real meat or like steakums? You know, like American meat or whatever? Like, this is actual sausage, or is it... I mean, I'm not eating like, you know, people, right? Read the ingredients, all right, I'll try. Well, I'm asking you guys. Beef, pork, mechanically separated chicken. What? Hang on, wait a minute. Beef, pork, mechanically separated chicken, water texture, soy flour, corn syrup, salt, uh, maldodextrin. Sodium. Oh, neat. Oh, well, that's great. Mechanically separated chicken like Robocop. All right. Well, those are pretty good. You know, it sucks. I just had my last Slim Jim. A little Slim Jim. Now I'll never have one until uh, whenever. So, uh, here's to you, Slim Jim. I like you. Now, what I need in order to satisfy my Swedish uh, beer sausage taste for Slim Jims. Is there mega Slim Jim? <laughs> is there like big boy size? Because I need like gargantuan size. Oh, there is. Because these are the, the length of like my finger, you know, basically. Um, but they were pretty good. They were spicy. And they, I know there's, um, there's monster uh, Slim Jims. Like, apparently, the energy drink Monster is, is, is sponsored. I, I don't know what, what the fuck happened here, but, uh... Hang on, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh... No, no, it's, it's double... D okay, that's what I was talking... I thought... The, the energy drink Monster... I thought it was, like, a gaming promotion. Like, you can taste fucking... Uh, <laughs> da, da, da. Energy ham. All right, well, anyway, that was the uh, the snacks that I've already tried. Now, here it is, all the real ones that uh, we have not gone past. Okay, so, first of all, first of all, again, this is all thanks to Skiba. They sent this, and incredibly generous of them to do this. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try my first um, goldfish pizza. That's right. Um, apparently, this is a pretty popular snack in America. It's It's... It's seafood that's pizza flavored. And it's baked with 100% real cheese. 
No artificial flavors or preservatives, and colors sourced from plants. That's right. The yellowness of the cheese is from plants, not the cheese. Um, and let me read the back here. We are bakers, but we are parents too. Uh, which is why we bake these goldfish crackers with smiles and ingredients that you can feel good about. I don't want to eat smiles. That's creepy. What? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Try all our great flavors. All right. Well, I'm going to try this one. This is goldfish pizzas. Okay. Let me try that out. Soon. It's going to be real interesting here. And here it's all on the open too. Now, now I don't want to. I don't want to dog on this, but you know what this smells like? It looks and smells like dried cat food. Kitty, Mr. Meow Meow, come here. Meow Meow Meow. It is. All right. Just like the fact that they're shaped like fish. Suspicious. Okay, let me smell. Yeah, I don't know. I'll try one. I don't know. Now, I hope Skiba doesn't take this the wrong way, but I don't like these. <laughs> these are not very good. <laughs> these taste like burnt tuk. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have tuk in America, but these are like grandma crackers that you have with uh, tea. These are very, uh, I'm gonna try them again. This is a desperate snack. All right. This is the kind of snack you have at 3 a.m. You're desperately looking for something in your parents' place. You rummage through the cupboards and you're like, oh, a Snickers bar or something. And you're like, no, goldfish. Right. Is that, is that what your Americans feel? Because that's what I would have felt. I'd be like, no, I want real things. Goldfish. I Not a big fan of goldfish. Goldfish taste a lot like... Um, it reminds me a lot of like eating straight straight cereal out of a box. I don't taste the pizza flavor whatsoever, but I mean, they're more, I would say these would be really good if they were larger and you could put butter and a piece of cheese on top of it, which is like inception, but don't taste like pizza. Pe pe hey, it's from Pepperidge Farms. Now I know what these guys taste like, huh? Something about this is a little off. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna say that all of these are bad, but um, this partic particular ones are kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end up eating the fucking whole thing, but you know, share your goldfish tales. Learn more at Goldfish Smiles. I also got a phone number too. Wait, what the fuck, guys? I'm not lying when I say this. Go get yourself a, a bag of goldfish baked snack crackers pizza flavor. You look at the ingredient section and it literally says made with smiles in the ingredients. I am not fucking kidding you. What? I thought it was just a marketing ploy like made with smiles. No, on the ingredient list it says made with smiles. Shit, man, that's incredible. That's a, that's amazing. I hate these. I absolutely hate these. Yeah, I don't like these at all. Hmm. 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 One more. Hate them. Oh, well, that was goldfish pizza. The original is much better. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can definitely see people that have eaten goldfish for a while, and they're uh, very, um, they're very infatuated. Like this, uh, this uh, maybe I'm nostalgic flavor for them, but uh, for me, that has never had anything like this, I'm a little on the fence about it. Like I, I might joke and say that I hate it, but I'm not necessarily a big fan. I would never say that if I was in America, I'd be like, you know, what we can do. You know, we just dumped that hooker in the uh, in the uh, L.A. River. But you know what would be really awesome? 
goldfish baked snack pizza. And they're like, yeah, you know what? That is correct, you know. So never would occur to me. Uh, anyway, pretty all right. Uh, we're gonna move on to a different flavor now. But these were all right. Now, let's see here. We have now here. Here's an interesting boy. Now, I might have referenced this on stream at some point, but uh, little Debbie, <laughs> little Debbie is. Uh, they do a lot of um, c confectionaries, whatever. Uh, this is called a zebra cake. Now, I don't know if, if uh, Skiba packed the most uh, uh, well-known snacks here or whatever, but uh, a zebra cake. Uh, it looks like... Uh, I don't know what, what it looks like. It looks like something you'd find at a bakery, but uh, that's a zebra cake, huh? It's just one, by the way, so it's not like a big big boy box, but um, I'll try out. I'll try them out. Ooh. Ooh, now we're talking. Ooh. Ooh, I can feel my diabetes hurting already. Oh, my God. All right. Now, l last time I, I tried a Twinkie on stream. You guys remember this? For me, Twinkies are one of those snacks that you need coffee for. Now... I am Swedish, and there's something in my blood that just screams coffee when I have sweets. So, um, but I'll, I'll try one. Here's a zebra cake. Now, I don't know what it is inside, but I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of creamy. And, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, tr try them out. Score. Oh. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia. That's one sweet fucking cake. Oof. Are you meant to have milk with these? Are you meant to have milk with these? Ooh. I can really feel... Are you meant to have milk with these? Because this feels... I, I know you guys do... Uh, you guys do Kool-Aid. And we guys do Kool-Aid differently. In Sweden, we have mixers. You have a little bit of the, like a liquid that you, uh, you had a lot of water into to make a thing. But you guys have a powder, right, that you mix into the water. Uh, for sake of reference, I'm going to, I'm going to explain it the both ways. This feels like, this is a product uh, that's just pure concentrate and you're meant to like put it into something. This feels like I'm getting my mouth blasted with sugar. Ugh. I mean, they're not bad, but god damn, dude, fucking armor die of these. Whoo! Not what I'm talking about. No, they're great. They're really good. Trust me, but. I think. Now, I don't want to dog on America, or whatever, but I, I legitimately think that you guys' perception of sweet differs from my perception of sweet. Um, because Twinkies have the same sort of sweetness this has the same sweetness i think for you guys like a sweetness is very sweet for me and i guess it'd be different i don't know uh but yeah they're, they're all right i'm almost finished with the, the half the, half the thing so um yeah i would say uh these are really good these would go great you know you know what this would go great with? If you froze in a uh, zebra cake in, in your freezer. Fucking yeah. All right. Frozen. Mm. That's good. Ew, my mom did that. Mm. Cuz we have we have these ice cream cakes in Sweden that uh, you know, could work with this. Tastes a little bit like, uh, yeah, but whatever, whatever. Uh, I like them. Uh, zebra cake. And I can already feel, uh, whew. I shouldn't be doing this on stream, but uh, these are the sacrifices I do. But anyway, again from Little Debbie, we have a, um, a really interesting one. We have a cosmic brownie. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to die after this stream. I just know what I feel it. Uh, don't worry, I haven't someone. But anyway, whatever. Um, here's a cosmic brownie. Now, I, I thought cosmic brownies were like drug stuff or whatever, but uh, I guess not. 
I guess a little Debbie might be eight years old, but she's, you know, she's uh, dealing drugs. Cosmic Brownie. Oh, suggested retail, 50, 50 cent, look at that. That's amazing, wow, look at that, huh? You know, it's amazing we're doing this stream because um, I really have a reference now. Like when I say to you guys, you know what guys, let's go down to the store and get some zebra cakes and Funyuns. I'll be like, well, I know what that actually tastes like now. Now I'm just like not taking the American sort of hoo-ha. Now I actually know what's all going about this, but all right, anyway, Cosmic Brownie. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys, is this the same kind of blast of in my mouth? Or is this one more subtle? Oh, it is more. Ooh. Oh, I love it when, when snacks have sweat on them. You know, when they're just sweaty when you open up on the package. This one is sweaty as hell. Wow, this is this looks great. This looks great. All right. Just uh, take a bite here and uh, see what it's all about. Uh, you know, carpe diem. <sighs> Greasy. All right. Well, anyway, let's do this. Well, first of all, this ain't a brownie, okay? <laughs> He's been complaining all day. This ain't a brownie. Brownies, are, for me, is fluffy. This, this is the stuff they put in between walls, you know, to cake walls together. This ain't fucking brownies, man. This, this is drywall. <laughs> Whatever drywall insulation fudge fiberglass asbestos. I'm eating raw asbestos here. I fucking hate it. It's delicious. Oh, oh, Jesus. Mm. It's a very, it's a very dark sort of uh, cocoa here. It's not just like just chocolate, it's very like punchy cocoa, you know. Very dark flavor here, and uh, I like it. But it, it really feels like if you took like um, a chocolate cake and the very uh, the, the very uh, liquidy layer, and you scoop that out for an entire cake instead of just actually having chocolate, it's it's not spongy at all. Um, I would say this looks a lot like um, just the top here. It's just basically the the, the sludgy part. Um, I like it though, and I, I like the little um, sprinkles too. But um, yeah, yeah, I actually, I actually like this cosmic brownie better than I do the zebra cake. They're very good both, but yeah, this one I think edges out a little bit more. But uh, yeah, man. Hmm. This would also go really good frozen. This would also work as a really good ice cream too, but um, mm. oh no, 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 no! There, there is sponginess to this. <laughs> At the very bottom, for a centimeter, that's it. Everything else just fudgety uh, grease. Oh, was hidden all along. Everything else is wall insulation. That's amazing. Holy shit! All right, well. We're not through yet. We're not through yet. Because uh, I have some big boys over here. But anyway, I'm not going to do any rating system, whatever. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I will do our rating system. All right, tell you what. Uh, what we've had so far is we. Uh, I will give the gold, goldfish pieces uh, 4 out of 10. I will give the zebra cakes uh, 6 out of 10. These boys, these men, little Debbie men, uh, 7 out of 10. All right. So, here we go. We're going to move on. And now, I'm out of Little Debbie products, unfortunately. So, um, she's not going to be supplying me with any more crack these days. But what I will be doing is I will be enjoying a classic of American cuisine. This is Hostess, makers of Twinkie. This, is my friends, is, well... Whew, snowballs! That's right. America's favorite... Pastime slash snack. Snowballs. Uh, these are quite big. 
Uh, their coconut and marshmallow covered chocolate cake with creamy filling. My God. Well, people are saying, ew. You guys don't like this? Is this going to be more drywall? Because it... I'm into that. All right, well, we're going to give this one a try. Snowballs. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My product is the snowballs. Oh, this is like mom made it. Oh, the coconut. Oh, ooh. Oh, it's a little wiggly. Ooh, it's like a titty. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's a little wiggly. I feel it's about to like turn apart. Hear that? It is jiggly. All right. Now, it really feels like um, it feels like you bake this stuff, you know. Cause yeah, let, let me try. Let me try them. Well, they they feel they feel really titty. I uh, titty. -y. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I can't say. But they, they have a they have a boobulous <laughs> feel. All right. All right. Anyway, bon appetit. There we go. Let's try this out. Whoa, it's chocolate inside. Well, I kind of knew that, but. Now this I like. This I like. Mmm. Now I like this. This is more for my Swedish tastes. Mmm. That's right. Cream and coconut. Yeah, now we're talking. No, it's actually disgusting now because the more I bite into it, the more I'm getting shotgun shotgun with coconut in my mouth. And the marshmallow. No, 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 it's good. No, it's good. I'm real on the fence about this because there, there's like five things happening in my mouth at the same time. This is blueberryness happening on the outside layer with coconut. You bite into it, there's another layer of spongy marshmallow uh, drywall. And then there's an actual brownie inside, not like. Little Debbie's crack house. No, no, no. There's actual brownie inside, like spongy brownie. But all these th things just make this witch brew. It's just a bunch of things happening at once, and it's. I'm really trying to comprehend what's in my mouth, but it's hard. It's really hard in my mouth. Not terrible, but I don't know. I I went into it. And you're really enjoying it, but now um, I don't know. I I think I'll, if I had a soda or something with me, I would have um, eaten more of it. But I like this one. But again, I think it would be better if you froze them in. Um, yeah. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I have a soda right here. You know what I should have had for this. American snack special. I should have had like a Mountain Dew or uh, an Arizona iced tea. Oh god, I really can feel the sugar like blasting me already. It's like immediately I feel it. Um, yeah, uh, I would say uh, these guys. I would put a five out of ten. Um, they started off really strong and then they trailed off completely because um, too much, too much in my mouth at once. It's like a it's like a Chinese restaurant that has everything on the menu because uh, they're not really good at anything. Uh, funny story about that because uh, there's a lot of Chinese places in America uh, in, in Sweden. Uh, American places might be legit, but here in Sweden, there's a lot of places that have Chinese food, sushi, Thai food, hamburgers, pizza, ice cream, and soup all on the same menu, and they do that because they're not really good at anything spe in. Sp Specific, so they compensate by having everything. It really, go, go look it up in Sweden. It is very weird. Um, there's a lot of like quote unquote Asian buffet places in Sweden, where it's like, okay, but what what country are we talking about? Are we talking about Thailand, Indonesia? Like, no, we're just naming it Asian food. Like, what the hell, you know? Everything, you know. But anyway. That's kind of this. Uh, it's not really good at anything, so it tries everything at once. So you could get your fix, but uh, yeah, um, I enjoy them, and I will 
be eating all of this stuff uh, after I'm done streaming. But um, all right, now I'm gonna do a complete whiplash in my mouth. We just had something sweet and savory. Now we're gonna turn this completely around because we have a, a total, total uh, 180 in terms of uh, taste. Uh, check this out. Um, oh boy. Now we did we did a lot of sweet. Now we need some really things spicy. And when I'm talking spicy, I mean mamma mia spicy. Um, I have here these guys. Now I don't know how 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 actually spicy this is, but uh, they look like this. They're called fire. Challenge accepted. Tortilla chips. Taco Bell. Um, now I do like a lot of spicy food. I, I love torture. I love to fuck up my mouth completely. Um, and I've never had Taco Bell, by the way. Uh, so this will be an interesting thing. Um, I have we have Doritos in Sweden, of course, but Taco Bell's tortilla chips is gonna be not only interesting for me because you know I've never had Taco Bell and Taco Bell's chips themselves, but uh, challenge accepted. Apparently, let me read on this back here how uh, ooh crazy it is. Introducing Taco Bell's new fire tortilla chips. If you're not afraid to be bold, then I'm the one for you. I'm crispy, crunchy, and full of fiery flavor that will rock your world. Simply put, I'm fire. Dare to dance with me. All right, well, I guess I will. You know, I'm surprised that this these chips have survived a complete trip to Sweden all across from America, from the pond. And they are not just chip dust. That is quite amazing, in fact. But, uh, all right. Ah. Ooh. I love, I love food that looks completely unnatural, you know what I mean? This looks like you dunk tortilla chips in, in, in blood and let it stay there for a while and you take them out. But, uh, they smell spicy. They smell pretty good. But, uh... All right, I hope these will really kick me in the ass because um, there's nothing worse than I hate when things are very spicy, quote unquote, advertised on the packaging, and you try them and you're like, yeah, yeah, you know. I want my mouth to be annihilated. I want it to be nuked. I want to be on the fr like floor puking my my asshole off, you know. So let's try them. I really hope American tortilla chips, Taco Bell style will annihilate my mouth so hard that uh, I won't be able to speak for uh, 25 days. All right, here we go. Check him out. Is, is there like an after spice where it like comes in and like kicks your ass or should I have another one or um It all a joke. These are fucking my little little Debbies. What? Is there something wrong with my chips? They were doing this this pomp bullshit where like, are you ready? Are you ready to come fire? Are you ready to eat Satan's cock? Are you ready? To blow Satan's hairy anus off with these hot, fiery titty chips. These are super mild. These are really super mild, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, be like, "Ooh, look at me go!" But literally, when I what, I, you, just a little bit of sriracha on your finger, and you go, eh, "That's way spicier than this." They, they're tasty, though. Don't get me wrong, but they are not what I expected them to be. They're pretty good though. 
they're pretty good. I would say these would go great with some guacamole or something, but um, uh, yeah, not at all spicy. These are uh, these are, these are quite delicious, but they are not uh, like crazy fiery. Um, I would say, I would say the 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 takis that I had earlier, the these men, these men are way spicier than this shit. These guys are dangerous compared to this. This goes bang and you know, yeah. These guys are are, are in fact I would say takis are better. Yeah, these guys will fuck you up. These guys will fuck you up. Hmm. Yeah. So far in the tortilla game, tortilla chip game, takis is number one. Taco Bell? Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy the, these fire ones, but uh, you know what I think? Deep down, I think that... Uh, now, here's just a theory, right? Because Taco Bell is such a massive um, continental brand that the quote-unquote spiciness is more like soccer mom spicy because they can't afford to have... A bunch of accidents of people rubbing, uh, you know, their uh, "quote unquote" fire spice into their eyeballs, and then they get sued. So they kind of make it kind of vanilla y spicy, and their spiciness is really just for everybody. Because you know, it's just some uh, trailer park trash that feeds these to their babies, you know, and it, they don't want to like, you know, be responsible. So hey, uh, good, good, but um, definitely not a challenge accepted sort of deal. Uh, uh, in fact, I could I can make a new one for them. Hang on. I will just type. Uh, oh, I know. Hang on. How about this? How about this? Um, there we go. They're all right. They're okay. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, anyway, um, official review though. Psh, shit. Um, honestly, you know what I could do? I could probably just do this, and it would be the same. If I just take this and I layer this on top. This was my joke originally, so uh, you know, <laughs> I just move this up and. <laughs> There we go. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. And I would say the spiciness and the official review, whatever, is the same. They're right. Uh, six out of ten, I guess. Pretty good tortilla chips. Uh, I would prefer, like, Dorito spicy, but... Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Now, uh, whoever... Maybe maybe, uh, maybe there are more spicier uh, tortilla chips than this. Uh, so maybe if Skiba's still watching, I would gladly accept more spiciness but um I, I am a sucker for spice and um you know they make me do a big bice only sweets will laugh at that but anyway uh pretty good pretty good they, they are all right for sure for sure um all right well guess what we have a little bit more of these uh sort of pizza flavored crazy snacks that's right we're gonna move on to combos Stuffed snacks, cheddar cheese. That's right. I have no idea what this is because uh, this one is actually not what's on picture. I have the pepperoni pizza flavor. Combos. What is a combo? I don't know, but it's made by NASCAR. NASCAR. No. What? Oh, an official partner of NASCAR. Oh, I thought it was like official race car food or whatever, but, uh, okay. Yeah, like me some combo stuffed snacks and some NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. S seriously, uh, here I'm celebrating snacks. I'm not trying to take the piss out of it, but. Yeah, combo. All right, let's. Let's try this out. Uh, who are they made by, though? They're not Hostess or Little Debbie. It is uh, pa partially pr produced with genetic engineering. What? P 
partially produced with genetic engineer. Holy shit, these were made, grown in a fucking lab. What the fuck is this? They're 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 from Hackettown, New Jersey, though. So uh, that's great. Uh, can't figure out who made these, but uh, I guess combos themselves make them. But holy shit, partially produced with genetic engineering. That is that's crazy. Um, that's Yo, these are dog foods. What is this? Okay, maybe you guys know what these uh, these are, but. Uh, for everybody else who's watching this right now, um, they look like this. These, these are like snossages for dogs, you know? It smells a little weird, but, uh, you know, these are pizza flavored. Will they, be, will they beat the uh, pizza nessus, the, the, the bland pizza nessus of uh, the goldfish's ones? I don't know. We're going to try them out, see what it's all about. Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, that caught me off guard. They're gooey in the center. Um, way more pizza -y than uh, goldfish. But you know what? These taste a fuck ton like. You ever had like. Um, I don't know if you have the same in America, but um, whenever you get "quote unquote" deep dish frozen pizza, and it's got that really thick dough, um, and you put them in the oven, just standard fucking oven frozen pizza. That's sort of like just a lot of fucking dough flavor, like that. A lot of fucking dough flavor. Um, I wouldn't say the most uh, amazing pizza flavor, but it, they do a way better job of representing pizza than. Uh, Goldfish, because goldfish just hit the fucking, you know, they completely trail off. But, um, yeah, these these are quite all right. Uh, are these popular in America? Like, sincere question. Um, they're not? No, kind of. No. So it's never like, um, you know, uh... It's never like, uh, oh, hello, my friend uh, Q. Let's go down to the 7-Eleven and have some gumbos. Right. And he said, yes, my friend Kill. We will go down and eat the many snossages together. It's gas station food. Right. Okay. Uh, popular in the East Coast. All right. Combos. Well, uh... I would say these remind me a. These are, they, they are more akin to a fake pizza flavor on a pretzel than they are uh, an actual pizza. But fuck, that's what they are, aren't they? There's fucking pretzel pieces, aren't they? Well, they're advertised as baked crackers, but uh, I don't know. They feel more like uh, pretzels, but I, I, I do like pretzel pieces. But um, you know, I would say these these are uh, again six out of ten. I, I did not hate them, but. Um, Little weird, a little weird for sure, but they're very cracker, you know, like they're very, uh, sort of have some tea with them. I know that's like combos and tea, what the fuck's wrong with you, Joel? But for me, it feels like these need to soak in something. They, they need to soak in something to kind of get the sort of hoo ha out of them. They feel too dry, you know. I don't know. Maybe I put them in some water and they soak up and I can have some cereal, America style. Jokes. Anyway, not bad, not bad. I, I, but we're gonna go on to my favorite here. Now, Skiba didn't know this, but we actually have these in Sweden. Because in um, in Sweden, we have this, or this is not essentially all the stores, but my local grocery store already have several ones. Um, we have a American section, that's right. Now, Frank from Florida has been to this quote unquote American section. And he's caught up their bullshit. They're like, none of this is American stuff. They just put fucking popcorn here. But occasionally, in every like blue moon, they have authentic American stuff. And uh, this time, they got something that I genuinely love. Or rather, I, I buy these a lot. But this time, Skiba sent me an actual... Because, you know, in Sweden, they kind of like change up the design and stuff like that. Because it's not the actual product. But... I get the same thing. Now, these things are fucking awesome. I ate some of these on the Desert Bus stream. Uh, these are, of course, Snyder's pretzel pieces. And I was going to bring these, the segue the topic from combos into this. Snyder's 
are great. I love pretzel pieces, and I love honey mustard and onion. Uh, these bags, this, this bag is the exact same bag as on picture. But the Snyder's we have is a little, little tinier than this. They're more pocket-sized, but uh, I know these are going to be great already. And I can already tell you these are 9 out of 10. And are they going to the same? Yeah, I think they're the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I love these. Oh, yeah. Oh, 10 out of 10. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Love these. Love these. We do have some... Um, Bacon, what, what was that guy you watched on stream earlier? The Swedish guy that was a hard man? I don't know if Bacon is still watching, but I was watching his stream, and he found some YouTube guy that was eating uh, peppers, and uh, he pronounces a certain uh, certain thing in a special way, and it's one of the flavors that Snyder's has in Sweden. And, uh, yeah, uh, okay, there we go. <sighs> Guys, you need to check this out. This... It's a Swedish accent. I, I, I might ham it up sometimes, but this is what a real Swedish accent smells like. All right. Hello, my name is Magnus. I'm a hard man. Yeah. I'm now going to tell you how a hard man do. I'm thinking Bill Hempel, Nero. You know, I, I gotta say, I don't know what the fuck he's saying at times. I mean, I understand some of it, but honestly, what the hell? And everybody can fly so well. I don't fly so well. But I am hard. I'm going to eat Japaleno. So I was trying to say that Snyder has uh, Japaleno flavor. Uh, and uh, I love that flavor. I do love honey mustard the most, but... Uh, Yapaleno is uh, it's also one of my favorites, but... Hard man eat Yapaleno, drive Futaba, yeah, Futaba. I'm new, take. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hard man eat Yapaleno, yeah, mm -hmm. and drink chili sauce. Yeah. I just want to point to something out, just for reference. What he's drinking here is not a particularly hot hot sauce. Um, this is like um, store bought local brand, like Chinese hot sauce. Like you know, it's like a sweet chili sort of like. It's not very, but whatever. Let's just imagine that this fantasy is that he's drinking like hot, hot molten lava, right? Sorry. Chili sauce. By the way, I love it. I pronounce this sauce. Drink chili sauce. My favorite sauce. <coughs> I'm a old man. Yeah. <coughs> Now I'm to bleed any harder. I think I can. I swear to God, the first time I saw this video, I literally thought it was like pulling up an elephant dick or something like that. Like he he had some elephant dick jerky. I'm like, this video is about to fucking get banned. But anyway. Any harder. And he's talking. Well, you know. But anyway. I think I can eat a big yapaleno. Now, first of all, this is. First of all, this this is like a bell pepper. That's the mildest fucking. It's like a paprika, you know what I mean? So whatever. All right, I need to stop. I'm drive for Toba. Bill Hempel. I'm a hard man. I can't fly, but I'm hard. <laughs> I'm think. I'm drink. Chili soto. Now I must go to fly. See you later, alligator. Legend. Uh, but anyway, um, 
Snyder's Princess Pieces, pr pr Hotly Japalino. Uh, love these guys, and I'll be having probably the whole bag before I go to sleep tonight because these are awesome. But luckily for me, though, I can get more of these when I hit the grocery store because we do generally have these at the American section, and there really is an American. American section at the grocery store. It's horribly overpriced, but if you want to get stuff like uh, a Bloody Mary premix can drink, yeah, you can get that if you want. Bizarre, but I uh, love these. Really, they're fantastic. I am a hard man. Oh, well, I'm tell you something. We had a lot of snacks, but we are not. We are not done. That's right. That's right. We just had something spicy. Well, quote unquote. We had something savory like this. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a big boy. Here's the big boy. I joked about these for years. Now I get to finally try them. It's fucking Sour Patch Kids. That's right, Sour Patch Kids. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna love these. I love this kind of like wine gum sugary goodness. Oh, they're all stuck together. Oh, it's like they made a super patch kid together. Oh my god. Is it normal that they're sticking together? Oh my god. They made they've collected a society in here. Holy shit. Oh, I gotta take one of these. One of these. Alright. I'm gonna try an orange one. Yeah, how sour are they? Are they like warheads? Because I tried warheads once and they were fucking me up. Alright, let's try out a sour patch kid. Sour then sweet. Well, let's see if it is. Ooh, that is fruity. Oh, that's like that's that's a good fruity. That 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 tastes real. That tastes like grandma. That's that's good. The orange one was 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 really fucking good. That was like eating a real orange. Ooh, I'll try a green one. Ooh, ooh, green ones are great. Now, these I can get behind. These are very Swedish candy. Oh, I love Sour Patch Kids. These are fantastic. They're not very sour, though, but they are very nice. In fact, I would say these would go great if you have if you put a bunch of Sour Patch Kids in a bottle of vodka, shook them around, and left it overnight in the fridge. Boom. You took them out, and you just... <laughs> Ah oh, man, I have an excellent drink. You get fucked up immediately. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, oh, these these are really good. These are really good. Let me try a blue one. All right. Let me get to America. And there's two kids fighting over one, one blue sour patch kid. I'm gonna tell. Him, I'm gonna go boo. Scare the shit out of him. And they drop the, the, the candy on the floor, on the asphalt, and be like, because <laughs> blue ones are my favorite, dude. Oh, blue ones are fucking the bomb. Come on. Oh, blue ones are great. Mmm. I love the blue ones. Hello, my name is Magnus. Mmm. Seriously. I'm just picking up the blue ones. The blue ones are fantastic. They're fantastic. I'm a hard man. Guys. Sour Patch Kids. Probably my favorite. Oh, I haven't tried out the lemon guy yet. Hang on. Le the, the lemony ones are super Swedish. This really appeals to my Swedish tastes. All right, now there's a whole. They, they have stuck together. I'm gonna eat a whole snowball out of these at once. I'm gonna shove them all in my mouth like a five year old would do. All right, I'm gonna do it at once. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Rook, rook, rook. All right. <laughs> oh, that one's sour. Ah. No, no. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Não sou de sal. Muito bem. Oh. It's hard to get down. Uh. Now I must go to fly. Oh, oh, fuck! Don't eat like ten sour patch kids at once. You will, your mouth will receive acidic burns. All right. I'm fine. Okay, but anyway. Um, all right, but well, that was Sour Patch Kids. I, I I thought these were great, honestly. Like, uh, I I'm a bit of a sucker for a sour can in general, and uh, these these were sour than sweet. I mean, little sour, and but very sweet and very good. Uh, so I, I would say, uh, yeah, I I generally enjoyed Sour Patch Kids. They um. I would say, I would say, uh, hang on. You know what I would do? You know what I would do? I, I saw a picture about sour, these Sour Patch Kids before, but, um, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, mama. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, I would say, uh, yeah, th these these guys were great. Uh, I I'll be snacking on these uh, throughout the night. And uh, honestly, honestly though, whenever I have a diabetic um, a low blood sugar attack, this this is gonna be a treat. I'm just gonna be, you know snacking all day but anyway i shouldn't even be eating this much sugar when i'm actually diabetic but whatever let's just keep the illusion that uh, i'm not dying as we speak but anyway uh so that was sour patch kids i i thought they were great and i uh i would say uh get some sour patch kids next time you guys are at 7-eleven because uh i enjoyed them uh, a lot <coughs> i am i'm just coughing because my mouth is burning and slowly rotting away but all right so there's one left, and I think I saved the best for last. I have a giant fuck bun, all right? I don't know what this is, but it's a giant, giant piece of shit that looks like a donut or whatever. Um, it's a jumbo honey bun. I, I can't even look how many sugars is inside. This is probably infinite inside, you know? Or on the packaging ingredients, but all right, let's see here. Ooh, hang on, what's this? Ooh, instructions. Look at the instructions. Microwave instructions. What? Well, I need, do I need to microwave these? Remove, remove honey bun packs from. Look, no, no, you don't do it. No, you should. No, 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 no. Okay, I guess not. Place on a napkin in an oven. In oven. You, you're talking about the microwave, no, the oven? Microwave oven? What? Heat on full power 15 seconds. No, heating times may vary. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna try this. The, uh, natural way. Oh, mamma mia. Oh. Oh. This is a, it, this is sugar 2.0. If I was ranting about Little Debbie's little crack cakes or whatever, this is a fucking whole new level. Jesus. This is huge, by the way. It's bigger than my hand. Alright. It smell it's it looks and smells like a donut. Um and uh, But it also looks like it, it's glazed in, in mango or jism. Or man chowder. Goo goo. Uh, it's a large. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot. Skadoof on this. 
of what I assume to be frosting. I think it's ice ice frosting. I icy frosting. All right, but well, anyway, I'm gonna take a bite out of this. I'm taking one for the team here. All right, well here we go. Oh man! Oh, these are great. Come on. Oh, these are great, man. It's mother... It just... It's just connect... It's a goddamn cinnamon bun that they caked in... 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 Uh, goodness. Oh, this is like going to the fair at, at the carnivals and... Getting those crazy donuts. Fuck. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm moving to America. Mmm. Let's tell you something. If I can get these every goddamn day from the convenience of walking to the store, goddamn, dude. Fuck. Oh, these are ridiculous. My God. You guys have some awesome fucking cinnamon buns. Goddamn, I feel embarrassed for the cinnamon buns we have. We have this little tiny, like, grandma, like, oh, you. You want to have the cinnamon bun? And suddenly. Boom! America kicked them boy! Jumbo honey bun! Fuck grandma, she's dead! Take this piece of shit in your mouth and taste the flavor! That's right. These guys kicked the shit out of grandma's dumb cinnamon buns. God damn. A large pizza. Oh. Unfortunately, I can only, like, eat a little bit because I'm... Oh, that's so much. Oh. Oh. Overall, I'll say this. We tried a lot of snacks here tonight, and I gotta say, um, this was a uh, pretty strange stream. But uh, I, I, I have eaten more sugar right now than I have in a whole year. Uh, I, good gravy. This is a lot of fucking things. Um, ugh. I honestly feel like brushing my teeth. That's how fucking much sugar has been. Whew. Whew. Okay, I might have to pace myself because I, I feel, I feel, I, I feel just, you know, there's nothing to do with my diabetes. Don't worry about it. But I, I honestly feel like, God damn, this is, I, I, okay, seriously though, American snacks are great, but this might be because Skiba picked out the most notoriously American snacks perhaps. But for me, I feel like American snacks and candies, they're, our perception of sweet in Sweden is nothing compared to sweetness in America. I feel this might be a little bit of an American kind of kitschy kind of like hoo-ha. But I feel like everything is like more splendorous in America. Everything is bigger with boldness, you know. I feel whenever stuff is in America, it's almost shaming other things of like, you've had your thing, try ours, you know. Um, which I like. I, I, I love that that pompousness about snacks and shit like that. Because it's always like the advertisements here always have a little tree on that says like "Enjoy the potato chip," and in America it's like "Enjoy goddamn Monster XXL Jumbo Wheel Chips." You're gonna die when you eat that motherfucker. You know, here it's just so. Oh, dear, you eat this snack? It's so good. You know, no one in America. It's like you're gonna love them. You know, I love that shit. I really do. It's like when you're making snacks, just fucking go all the way. Don't at attempt to hide the fact that it's unhealthy. Just go all the fucking way. You know it's unhealthy. You want to indulge in it. Here you fucking go. Snap it to a Slim Dim. None of that shit of saying, you know, less sodium. More sodium, goddammit. When I go down and I have a jumbo funnel fuck pussy cake. <laughs> Listen, I want to taste every MSG corn in it. All right. God bless America. Everything is 2.0, and goddamn, you guys have some great fucking snacks. Ooh, I'm gonna miss these. Well, I still have a lot of left, but I would say my favorite out of all these would have to go to the Jumbo Honey Bun. This thing was crazy. This thing was crazy train. I loved them. My least favorite was the Goldfish Baked Pizza. They felt like something out of Sweden. They felt like, ooh, ooh snacks, you know. Um, you know, but... I would say my favorite, actually, uh, I think Takis were pretty good. They're very overblasting, but Funyuns were great. Takis were great. Uh, Snyder's Pretzel Pizza, which I've had before, is fucking fantastic. 
the Jumbo Bun is great. And I would say uh, the Slim Jims too. The Slim Jims uh, are a lot like our beer sausages, but they're still very, uh, very, very tasty. And I should have done. Uh, I should have done the BMX game where you play a Slim Jim man, Slim Jim Johnson or whatever. But um, yeah, th th this is great. And now I have a whole lot of shit to eat when I uh, when I do this. But um, someone draw Joel saying, "Got my diabetes shoes on." Oh, huh. I'm gonna calm myself down. Oh, where am I? Who am I? Who? All right. Well, anyway, I want to say this was a pretty, pretty extraordinarily weird stream. Um, but uh, I might do a PO box at some some point. Uh, Skiba was an exception. Um, they actually sent this to Bacon, which Bacon then sent to me. But uh, if if I do open up a PO box at some point. I kind of don't want it at the same time because I know you guys would just send me jumbo honey buns and they would be like they need to stop th this locker that we have for this idiot Swede uh, that lives in the street his locker is filled with jumbo honey buns from all across America we can't have that I would like to do that but uh, you know hey but I'd love to try some more American candy I, I know I there's a lot of stuff left out here uh, there's some stuff I definitely need, need to try um, I really want to try like one thing that has infatuated me for a while, I want to try Sierra Mist because that sounds like a mystery Mountain Dew. I don't know what it is, but it sounds a lot of fun. I want to try Sierra Mist, and I want to try. Um, oh, it's off spread, off brand Sprite. Don't ruin it. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! All right, but anyway, I'm gonna try that. I need to uh, try a lot. Mellow yellow, mellow yellow, and don't don't eh, let's say me what it is. Uh, keep the illusion. I want to fucking. I don't want to know, man. I don't want to know. Um, and I want to try uh, Doctor Thunder. If if any of you guys can find Doctor Thunder, if you can somehow send liquids to Sweden, please, for the love of God, find me a Doctor Thunder. You might have to go down to. Walmart, Kmart, whatever. Anyway, and there's one more thing I need to try. Because <laughs> here's the thing: a few months ago, Tabasco, not Tabasco. Sorry, my bad. Uh, no, it might be Tabasco actually. Hang on, uh, check this out. By the way, uh, unrelated, I think Tabasco is a very inferior hot sauce to Cholula. Cholula is my favorite, like mild hot sauce and I gotta say I, I can't go back to Tabasco after the Cholula and literally Cholula only so sold me on the thing because they got the little wooden cap I'm like ha 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 but then I started to like unironically enjoy it but anyway so I, I, I have tried to try buffalo sauce for forever and I tried the Tabasco buffalo style and apparently this is not buffalo sauce this is not buffalo sauce the only real buffalo sauce is Frank's alright so Frank's Red Hot or whatever. I need to find that. If we can somehow track down Red Red Frank's uh, big old big old bottle, then I'm gonna try that because I'm infatuated with what, what buffalo tastes like because we do not have buffalo wings in Sweden. I've never had buffalo wings. In fact, here's another shocking thing. We do not have ranch sauce in Sweden. I do not know what ranch tastes like. I have no fucking point of reference. Ranch, ranch sauce with uh, stuff you dip it in. Don't know what ranch sauce is. Is it garlicky sauce? Is it creme fraise? I don't fucking know. Uh, but tell you what, here's my hit list: Hidden we uh, Hidden Valley Ranches Ranch Sauce, Frank's Buffalo Red Hot Sauce, and Doctor Thunder slash Melu Yilu. All right, that's my hit list. Need to check these guys off. Uh, you know, it's butter, buttermilk garlic. Uh, okay. Ranch is literally vegetable cum. Okay. Let me try that. <sighs> All right, listen. <coughs> I gotta gla get a glass of water because good gravy. Good gravy. Good damn vegematics. Well, I hope you all enjoy my little taste test here. Th these streams are like 
a very unique thing because yeah, I can only do them like just for the stream. But uh, I have plenty of snacks to go now whenever I have a snack need. But uh, I'll be snacking American style, you know. So I want to thank you all for watching the little American snack seg segment. If you thought it was really boring and it didn't lead anywhere, then yep, you're right. Well, we'll see more about the, uh, the stuff soon. But we're not done streaming tonight. Uh, we're going to do a little quick bonus thing here. We're not done. We're not done. I'm going to do a BRB, stream some more, and then do a little break. And then I'm going to do a Harker Friday tonight. So, you know it. Anyway, we'll be right back. Sit tight. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, checking something else out. Secret. Yapaleno, hard man, eat Yapaleno, drive for Toba, yeah, for Toba. I'm new, take. No. Mm. Hard man, eat Yapaleno, yeah, and drink chili sauce. I'm a hard man. Yeah. <coughs> now I'm to bleed any harder. I think I can eat a big yapale. Yeah, a large pizza. And I put Toba. Bill Hampel. I'm a hard man. I can't fly. But I'm not oh. mayonnaise. Sausage. I'm thinking. Sausage. And drink 